Okay, so in this video I will go one more step in my privacy goal. I want to be totally private on my mobile devices. And as you may know, I have done a lot of videos about that already and I've done a lot of different steps. But in this video, I will show you a new feature in iOS 14. In iOS 14, Apple added a pretty nifty feature to be even more private actually. So let's start by going into settings and here in settings, we go down to privacy, as you can see there, privacy, click on privacy. And here we have a lot of different privacy settings. And we have seen a few of these in my earlier videos. But let's once again go into location services. Here you can see all the apps that can see where you are and so on and know exactly your precise location and so on. But in iOS 14, Apple has added one more step to be even more private in the location services. So let's go down to, for example, uh, Instagram. Click on Instagram. Here you can see you have three different choices for your privacy you can allow instagram to never have your location access that is the best feature of course but that means that you can't tag your photos in instagram with your location and so on but if you want total privacy you should choose never ask next time as i have a choice here is a good feature because then you can decide that instagram let have your location when you want it to that's great and you also have while using the app down here though you have the new feature in ios 14 precise location as you can see there and precise location means that you allow the app to know exactly where you are when you have that feature on. And you don't want that when you want to be totally private, of course. So my recommendation is that you turn this off on all the apps that you don't want to be able to know exactly where you are. Because if you turn this off, you can only see an approximate location. So, for example, in you, when you are in a town, you can basically let Instagram, in this example, know that you are in that town. But you can't, Instagram can't know exactly where you are in that town. That is what this toggle means. If you turn that off, Instagram, in this case, can't see exactly where you are but unfortunately apple has decided to have precise location on by default for all your apps so you need to go into location services as you can see here you go into privacy and location services and go through all the apps that have your location and turn that feature off Let's see Shazam, for example. We choose Shazam. As you can see, precise location is on by default, but you can, of course, turn that off. You don't have the exact precise location unveiled for Shazam. So that is a pretty nifty feature and very useful when you want to be private. So... Once again, let's go from the beginning, from your homepage, go to your settings up, go into settings, go into privacy, go into location services and choose the app that you don't want to have your exact location, your precise location, the precise location. For example, calendar app, for example, you can choose that and then you can turn that off for that app. So go through your list with all the apps and turn off that is my recommendation to have even more privacy on your phone. And once again, I will say 
that if you want to have better privacy, don't use Android, use Apple products. And also on Apple products, use Apple software. So for example, use Safari for your browser, for example, and use Apple Mail for your mail. And don't change to Chrome as your default browser, as you can do now in iOS 14, because that is terrible for your privacy. So my recommendation is use Apple products and use Apple software as much as possible because Apple is on your side. They don't want anyone else to have data about you and sell your data to any other third party company. So Apple is on your side. So use Apple products. Everything stays on your phone with Apple products because they have a neural engine and that neural engine works with your data on your phone, on your device itself and not send it to a third party company or whatever. So that is also one of the most important recommendation. Use Apple products and Apple software as much as possible. Don't use Android or Windows. Okay, bye.